trumpet, clarinet, and French horn students. You should have your book open right now to 1.6. If you have smart music downloaded on your computer, you could open that up to 1.6 as well. We are going to go through the steps right now on how you should be practicing every example in your book. You can utilize the CDs that came with your book to practice with. It'll help you to stay in time and it'll help you to stay with the example. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to count on numbers. So let's go ahead and do that together. Ready, count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next step is saying the note names while fingering. So you should have your instrument out. You should be sitting in playing position, and we are going to say the note names together out loud while you finger on your instrument. D, D, E, E. Look ahead to the next measure. E, E, D, D. Look ahead to the last measure. D, E, D, D. The next step is singing or saying ta for the entire example while fingering. So again, get your instrument up in playing position and you can sing with me on ta through the example. Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 Good. So the next step for the trumpet and French horn players is going to be to buzz the example. And for the clarinet players, it is going to be to air play through the example. Now, we're air, when we're air playing, we're practicing our tonguing. So you're putting enough air through just to get air, and you're practicing moving your fingers, changing the notes, and tonguing at the same time. Brass players, you should have your mouthpiece out, and you're going to go ahead and buzz this example while I buzz the example. Getting ready. Feet flat on the floor. Ready. <laughs> Remembering that when you're buzzing, you should be changing your pitch along with the music. So if the pitch goes up, the pitch on your mouthpiece should also go up. If the pitch in the music goes down, the pitch on your mouthpiece should also go down. The next step is to play through the example on your instrument. So we are going to go through the example right now. I'm going to play it on trumpet and you can play it on trumpet, clarinet, or French horn. Feet flat, sitting up, good posture, ready. The next step and the final step would be to fix any measures that were difficult. So take a minute right now and look and think to yourself which measure you had the most difficulty with. It probably was this last measure here, going back and forth between the D to the E back to the D. So you would practice then just what was difficult. So let's go ahead and just play D, E, 1, 
two, ready. So we're going to try that again because my first note didn't come out as a D. So we're going to do the same thing again, just D to E to D. Two, ready. And then what you can do after you practice and fix whatever was difficult is you could go back to the beginning. If you're using smart music, go ahead and put the accompaniment on. If you are not using smart music, but you have a CD player or you can play a, the recording through your computer speakers, why don't you go ahead and you can play along with the recording now. So we'll put it all back together, this time doing it with the accompaniment. Feet flat, sitting up, good posture. Ready. And those are the steps that you should go through for all of the examples every time you practice.